Hi everyone, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to install the new factory team aluminum cross pins into your V3 differentials. Included in the package are two aluminum cross pins and four steel inserts. And the reason I'm going to upgrade the steel cross pins that are stock in the V3 diffs are a couple reasons. The lighter cross pins reduce the rotating mass uh, inside the diff as the diff rotates inside the gearbox. And these steel inserts line up with the grooves inside the diff case and provide a better contact area um, for the cross pins so the case doesn't wear out as quickly and this provides a, a, a more consistent diff and ultimately a better performing diff. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is remove the diff from the car and take the ring gear off and if this is going into your center diff then you take the spur gear off and uh, we'll take out the old components and here I've got the new stuff and these are the planet gears and the washers that came out when I removed this from my car so I'm going to use all the same parts and we're just going to replace these and so these slide on and this is the way that I like to install these so I'll do one planet gear first I'll put a washer on and I'll put one insert and then I'll put the other planet gear on the other washer and the second insert and the key or the trick to putting these in easily is lining up the corner and just kind of pressing it in and we'll turn it around and these just slide right in and you want to make sure that these go to the edge and we'll just press that down in there and we'll make sure the flat spot on the gear here or on the cross pin is lined up so it's flat so that it'll, our second cross pin will line up to it and we'll do the same thing with this one we'll do a planet gear first then a washer then an insert, planet gear. And if you're running the O-rings, uh, before you put this washer on, then uh, you'll put the, the O-ring in there. I'm not running them, so I'm not going to use them. And I'll put the insert back on. So here we'll make sure that the, the mating or corresponding flat spot is facing down. And I'll line up this groove just at the bottom, just so it's it's in. If it pops out like it just did, slide it back in. I'll slide the gear down just a little bit so that I can kind of grab the insert and line it up with the slot. I'll push the gear back and if this slot flat face on the bottom is facing down, this should just press right on down into the diff case and um, everything should spin freely. No issues. And from this point on, your diff should go back together as, as you took it apart. Um, your ring gear will bolt back onto here or your spur gear will bolt back onto here. And you can shim the diff side to side just as you had it. The internal spacing or gear mesh, it doesn't change. So however many gaskets you had in between your spur gear or your ring gear, those all stay the same. It's pretty much just a swap one for one and you're done. All right, that's it, we're done. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below. We're here to help. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're informed when we come out with more videos. And as always, have a great day.